Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an effin' sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to run a function after clicking a button. We're gonna show you how to do it with JavaScript and then with jQuery. When you need to run a function on button click, it's this simple. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example and we have our two buttons set up. When we click this button, it's going to change this text with JavaScript. And when we click this button, it's going to change our text with jQuery. This is the old me, sad, sorry, and depressed. Let's run our function and this is me on Webflow. And with jQuery, the same thing. When we go and click this button, we're going to run our function that changes the text on the page. In Designer, we have some classes on our button as well as some classes on the text that we're changing on the page. When you are running your function, you may not need to apply the class to this text. It depends what your function is. We're gonna focus on the class that we have here on the button. So we have our default hack button class and then the important add-on of hack12.js. And here on our jQuery button, we have the hack button, hack12 jQuery add-on class. And for this example, we're changing the text, so we do need an identifier on the text so we know what we're changing in custom code. So here we have hack12 text with hack12.js, and down to jQuery, we have our hack12 text, hack12 jQuery. Let's break down this code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. Here inside the script, we're showing you two versions, the JavaScript implementation and the jQuery implementation. We're going to be focusing on the click part of this. This hack is about the click. It's not about the function or the changing text. So we're gonna be focusing on this line and this line. The idea here is that you're going to paste in your own function. So here you paste in your own function, here you paste in your own function. And you're just going to do whatever you need to do after a click of a button. Here in the JavaScript version to target our button, we're using document query selector. And we are using the class that we've applied to our JS button. And we add event listener, and the event listener is click. So this is saying JavaScript, when there is a click of this class, go ahead and run the code inside of these brackets. Great, so you would go ahead and paste your own code in, whether it be a marketing function or some type of animation, uh, whatever you need to do, you can go and do that inside here. And here in the jQuery version, we are replacing all of this document query selector inside this dollar sign. So document query selector is replaced just with a dollar sign. And we are using the same style to call our class. This time it is the jQuery button. And on click, we are going to do everything inside of the brackets. So we are replacing all of this with this and all of this with this. So you can see there's a lot less text inside of the jQuery version and it's doing the exact same thing for us on the page. Maybe you need one, maybe you need the other, maybe you're just learning the difference between the two. Either way, now you can run your function on button click. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.